Fitness and Exercise family. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Got a smile on your face and you're ready for a brand new video. If you're not yet a part of the family, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to never miss out on any videos coming here to the channel. Hopefully I can distract you guys from whatever you got going on in your life for the next 10 to 15 minutes. Today's vlog is going to actually start off a little different than normal. So my day started off having to uh, be on the throne. If you saw yesterday's vlog, you would know why I'm on the throne. This right here is the ludicrous sauce wing. Wish me luck, guys. If you didn't see that vlog, go check it out after this one. But then after that, you know, I decided I need to go get a quick mile and get some cardio going, so I actually ran on the treadmill. <laughs> And after doing that, I was like, you know what? I really need to get a shower because I'm kind of sweaty. Sweet Caroline, this song sucks. Now you should all be caught up to present time. So without further ado, let's get right into the rest of today's vlog. Hey, how are you feeling? What are you talking about? Last night. Oh yeah, I recommend nobody using the upstairs bathroom. Right now, I want to put the drone up to fly it, but it looks like it's about to be pouring rain, so I don't want to take a chance with the drone. And speaking of my drone, last night I had a dream where I was flying it, and next thing you know, I lost control, and my drone like hit a tree, and then it went into this very lake right here. So, me being me, you know, like, how often, like, my dreams do come true, I'm not gonna take that risk. Also, one thing I noticed in the comment section is, hey, Jeff, you should get rid of that steering wheel cover, so... Yeah, for those people that have been saying that, literally, in every video where I show my steering wheel cover, I took it off, alright? So you can't complain about it anymore. I feel like I shouldn't have to address this, but a lot of people keep asking about it. And even on my last Instagram photo, they were saying it's Photoshop. The only thing that got like a little tweaking was the coloring on the photo, which you do in Instagram itself. And that photo is taken by a guy named Roman. But a lot of people keep asking, are you actually fighting fires? Like, are you an actual firefighter? Then there's some comments saying, oh, you need to have months of training, all this stuff to be able to do that. I just want to say some people are dumb. First off, you need to have months of training. That's true. Thing is though, back in 2015, I already went and got my Firefighter 1 certification. So for those people saying I need to go through months of training to be able to be a fireman, once you have a certification, you have it. Then the other thing about my photo being Photoshopped, the only thing that got like Photoshopped was the coloring of the photo to make it pop more. What I'm trying to say is something I've learned that's very important in life. Normally it's think before you speak, but this time it's think before you comment. Like I don't want to be a bad guy, I don't want to be rude to anybody, but like if you don't get your facts straight, then don't be the one to post fake information. Just to put all of this to rest, I'm gonna show all of you my gear real quick. Right here is my leather helmet. You come on down, you see I got my coat, which says Saxton on it. So for anybody saying, oh, that's not real, it's that's, that's my name, Jay Saxton, Jeff Saxton. And then I got my bunker pants. Now that you've seen my gear, hopefully that just puts all that to rest. And also, there's a video on my channel from like, last year actually where it was me fighting a vehicle fire if you want to see a video of me actually fighting fire go to that video after this video and check it out i just got done charging my uh, helmet camera as you guys can see if this will turn around in a second you'll see me vlogging myself lately my car has been making this squealing noise and i have no clue what it is i'm thinking it's either my serpentine belt or one of the pulleys right down here so me being the mechanic i am not because i'm i'm not a mechanic obviously i got good old wd-40 on the start of my car i'm gonna try put it on that belt and if it stops making the noise that's a plus if it doesn't well <laughs> your boy's screwed do you hear the noise it's coming from right there! The reason why I'm yelling is because it's loud. I don't know if you guys can hear me. Okay, WD-40, help me out. Will this work? Aha, I found it. It's in the back there. And it stopped making that noise. The noise has much up. Oh, it's coming back. It's coming back. I just used up all the WD-40 in the can, and it appears it did not help. This has been Mechanical Advice from Jeff, and whatever you do, don't use it. Take a look at this, everybody. My first time ever wrestling in an actual wrestling ring. Here we go. Three, two, one. Boom! There I go with the impact. If you guys want to see this video, there's going to be a card above for you to go check it out. Also, it's going to be down below in the video description. You can actually see me wrestle and become the next uh, WWE champion. I'm, I'm kidding. But it was a really good match. I had a lot of fun. I learned a lot of things. I'm not going to say if I win or lost. That is for you to find out while watching. Uh, as you see, I, I, I get backed up into the corner very early. So, if you want to watch this, I highly suggest it. It's very entertaining. I, uh... I may have delivered some really good wrestling moves, I guess you can say. 
Do me a favor, after this vlog, go check it out and let me know what you think. This guy was calling me a joke, right? And then, boom! Swift with the impact, and then uh, I come back in here, boom! And I think I go and deliver some right hands. Boom, 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 boom. Do me a favor, go check it out. Do you guys think I should wrestle more often? Uh, you know, I've always been a big WWE fan, and kind of getting to wrestle for the first time in a ring was really cool. I had a blast. Earlier today, I was looking through, like, that glove box thing in my car, and I noticed I happened to have two lottery tickets, so I took out my phone, used a mobile app, and I checked it out, and, uh, your boy won at $28 which I think $20 is the most I've won from one of these Powerball tickets. The thing is though, uh, I didn't get the cash easy one in, but it made me realize like, oh, I need to play the Powerball tonight for tomorrow. So when this vlog comes out, the Powerball will be tonight. And the Powerball tonight, I think is like 156 million cash option. I just, for some reason, have a really good feeling about this one. To be 100% honest with all of you, it's, uh, it's been a while since I picked up the camera from last clip to this clip. And I just want to take a few moments to kind of talk with all of you guys and tell you guys how I'm honestly feeling at the moment. And, you know, like, the goal with these vlogs is, like, make you guys be able to escape whatever you may have going on in your life. And, uh, like, just entertain you guys. Make you guys happy and help you feel better about yourself and your day. And uh, <laughs> between the moment of recording that clip and to now... Um, I had some places I had to be, but I also got news of somebody I know personally passed away. And I've been trying to take my time to kind of, I guess, process it. I mean, I knew the person was sick and all, and just life never makes sense, you know? It's always the good that go young, and it's something that I'm never going to be able to understand. I mean, for example... My dad was 39, and the person I know was in the early 50s. And it just, it it kind of hits, hits home, because like, you know, unfortunately, all of us, I hate to be a Debbie Downer, are going to die one day, and whether it's now or later, I hate to be the guy to break the news, uh, death is intimate, and it's going to happen. But when it does, and it's somebody you know, it just, it sucks. I want to talk to you guys about it because for me it's kind of always hard to to open up to people um, and for me to be vulnerable around people and being able to do that on the camera and to the vlog uh, to you guys helps because uh, I, I kind of get to tell you guys how I'm feeling and to be honest it just it sucks right now it, it just does I hate seeing people just pass away in general but it's always the good and that's what never makes sense to me. I mean, you have people out here just killing other people and doing all these crazy things, harming others, and they get to live a long life when there's people out there that do things for others like to, in a positive way that don't get to have that much time on the planet, but the time they do get to have here, they, they make a positive impact. And I don't know, I guess... Whatever you may believe in, and I believe in, uh, there's something greater uh, needed this person more than us. And um, it's like the same with my father, I guess. Whatever the greater power out there is needed my father, I guess, more than I did. And it's, it's a crappy way to look at it, but unfortunately, things happen in life, and it just it will never make sense. Nothing will ever make sense at all. I figured I'd just turn the camera on and talk to you guys because Saxon family, I love each and every single one of you and you know if you're ever going through something you can hit me up in my other section on Instagram and while I'm going through it if I see somebody that actually does need somebody to talk to because they are going through things, I, I try my best to always respond. I just want all of you to know that I'm here for you if you're ever going through anything and uh, I know you guys are here for me when I'm going through stuff. I'm sorry for the second half of this vlog being a Debbie Downer, you know, I just... I need to get my emotions out, and I just, I need somebody to talk to, and I knew I could talk to you guys, I could talk to the Saxon family. These kind of things in life just absolutely suck, and uh, I just sometimes never know what to say or how to say, because there's just always so much going on, and you, you just try to think about good times. And this person, you know, that unfortunately passed away, they always had a smile on the face that could light up a whole entire room. It's kind of infectious, you know? And um, it, this person can make you always be in a better mood. 
I think I'm just going to cut the vlog here. If you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor, slap a like on it, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to never miss out on a video here on this channel. We do post every day at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Saxon family, I love each and every single one of you. And like I was saying before, if you're ever going through anything, just hit me up on Instagram. And while I go to my other section and I see it, I'll do my best to reply. So hopefully tomorrow's vlog, we can just get back into the regular content of hopefully being able to make you guys laugh. But with all that being said, it's been your boy Jeff. Keep it real. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you kept that smile on your face. Remember, you can do anything you put your mind to. Remember to stay positive. Until next time, I'm going to log out. I'm going to peace out. Well, peace.